Welcome, I'll be reacting to the UFO episode, The Sound of Silence. This is a commentary, not a market substitute. Please support the original. What is this? Roger, maintain speed. This is not good. 36, 42, 25, 2, touchdown. Roger, everything looks They're good doomed. here too. We have go for re-entry at 1600 hours tomorrow. Roger, Houston. Houston, we have a problem. Press, radio, and TV clamp down on any information relating to the signal being monitored by the GSP-4. Position 10 miles from GSP-4. Hmm. But as far as we can tell, there's nothing to worry about. Just maintain your flight path. Roger, Houston. I think there is, actually. Interceptors in position. Awaiting firing instructions. Roger, they base. can't. That was civilians that close? No, it's too near the capsule. It's going to follow the space probe. Right back to Earth. Easy way in. They know they're safe if they keep close. It's kind of brilliant, actually. Points to the aliens. Interesting sound design that keeps stopping. I gather the UFO is going to land somewhere near here. Mm -hmm. This is so fun. Ooh. And get the mobiles out there as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. I don't think the horses will like them either. How long will it take the mobiles to get there? Two or three hours. Mm. I love the location, it's gorgeous. He's like the exact opposite of the equestrians we saw earlier. He has a very cute dog. Oh, dogs can tell when aliens are near. That would be helpful. Mm. I think we've seen that one before. The poor aliens always end up in like the middle of these family dramas. Hopefully that horse is well trained. If ever I see you or that mongrel on this estate again. Mongrel. Get moving. All the humans are very flawed. You have the equestrians who are just being awful bullies, and then the chap who was being cruel to his dog who was just trying to protect him. Even Straker was in a bit of a mood earlier. You should come home more often, Anne. It's the only time we get a decent meal. Sorry. Yes, Minister fans. I know why I'm panicking right now. This is Sir Desmond from Yes, Minister, who is one of the most hilarious characters on the show. He's this banker who has this just deadpan delivery on his lines. Let me find one for you. Well, you're a banker. Surely you read the Financial Times. Can't understand it. <laughs> Full of economic theory. Why'd you buy it? Oh, you know, it's part of the uniform. Everyone started getting hooked on these new monetarist ideas. You know, I want to be free by Milton Shulman. <laughs> Milton Friedman. Why are they all called Milton? Yes, Minister is precisely my sense of humor, and it is probably the funniest show ever made. And of course, yes, Prime Minister. I like Yes Minister better, I think. I can't believe we have Sir Desmond. I don't know the actor name. Let me look it up. Richard Vernon. I'm going to try not to fangirl too much. Well, if you lost your cool like you did today, I'm not surprised. What have you been up to, Russ? I ran into our favorite hippie again. I don't know. Actually, I quite liked him. At least he was different. If I had my way, I'd lock the whole bunch up. Oh, there's no real harm in them. Well, the one we ran into today is vicious. He was not vicious. You were vicious. All he did was run away. The UFO is underwater. It's gonna emerge. Anytime. Ha ha ha! They do like to hide underwater a lot. He is stressed right now. Are they trying to push a romance on us? Oh, how cute is that? He fetches knives. I love this dog. Come on, dog. Let's go. There's no name, just dog? Stay. I have to go recite poetry at a window. Well, I don't think he's a poetry type, but more like, hey, babe. But you never know. He could secretly be a poet. She does have a window to come out and be on the balcony. Come on. What? 
getting a bit of a Heathcliff vibe going on. Am I alone there? Kind of Heathcliffy? Well, not anymore. What on earth's the matter with him? He's sweating again. So horses can tell if aliens are around as well. All right, so any animal, I guess, since we have horses and dogs. Cats don't count because they just don't care. What if Foster got like a little mouse that he could carry around in his pocket and it would like squeak if aliens were near? Because he's basically a Disney princess. I mean, let's face it. So he needs a little animal companion. Maybe bluebirds, like Snow White. Negative, and no response from the instruments. I'm convinced it's not in this area. All right, all right. It's in the water. I we'll have to move on. The thing that the Winchesters did in Supernatural that they don't do on UFO with Shadow is they went out and they interviewed the locals. Like, have you seen anything odd? For example, if they came here, maybe she would tell them about the strange behavior of the horses, and that would be the clue. Come on. Come on. He should not be working with horses. It's interesting. See how he came to her? She always treats him really well. Uh oh. Pa? Over here! You stay here. They had better not hurt Sir Desmond. UFO? Is there anything else you can tell me? Finally. No, I don't think so. You know how I was so. talking about interviewing people? No. In the wood, I found a dog. It was horribly mutilated. Whatever did that? I understand. California would be like, only $5,000 a month rent. It's only feet away from them. And they don't know. Listen. There's no animals. It's too quiet. Sound of silence. And his horse was frightened. It was sweating. Mm -hmm. Take the truck. I'll walk back. Okay, then. In other words, get out of here and get to safety. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, smart. Because he couldn't hear her scream from that far, but the car horn is really loud. At least they know the UFO's here now. This is such a great model set. Mobile one, fire. You're basically depth charging them. Right? Just don't hit each other. Whoa. Oof. This is an internal emergency. All personnel on B roster to evacuate area. Well, at least they're being very smart about it. Get as many people out as you can, just in case. I guess she's essential personnel. Well, what about the other wreckage? They're picking it up on the audio sensor. I'm somewhere in the center here. A heartbeat? What do you make of it? It's regular, mechanical. Are you sure it's mechanical? Once we start cutting, sir, anything can happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have it get Straker out of the room first. This could trigger anything. They are ramping up the tension here. It is a human heart. Mm -hmm. Russell Stone. It must be. So that's how they transfer the organs. Ah, uh, that outfit. I think we've seen it before in a previous episode, and I don't care. I still love it. It was the one from Psycho Bombs, I think. That dress. Yeah, Psycho Bombs. 
I know my costuming. <laughs> Is he all right? We hope he will be. Last of Beth Min. Yeah, amnesia drugs ready, so. Right. Couldn't they just let her drink the amnesia? It seems like that's an easier way to do it. He seems like himself. I was interested in taking a few writing lessons. Uh -huh. That's what we hear. Sure, you were. Foster. Paul Foster. Come up to the house, Mr. Paul. Foster. I know the ending was probably just Foster being. Foster. However, it's actually not a bad idea for him to kind of monitor the situation for a few weeks just to make sure everything seems okay. So maybe that's all he was doing with the writing lessons. It's always interesting when we get the tie-in of ordinary people and their drama with the UFO. I'm really upset about the dog though, but at least Sir Desmond is okay. That was a great cameo. I loved it. <laughs> Can we get Sir Humphrey next? Or Bernard? The uh, Prime Minister has asked me to remind you uh, that it might be more convenient mm -hmm. if you were to phone through from the Cabinet Office before popping over to see us. <laughs> oh, it's not inconvenient at all. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> yes, it is. I think the horses were my favorite part. And just watching them going around, jumping in that absolutely spectacular woodland. But a great model set as well. That scene with the mobiles shooting at the UFO and the water and the splashing and the moonlight. That was a great scene. I didn't particularly like the script here, especially how it dealt with some of the indigenous peoples. But it's also a product of its era. And I get that. They didn't know. They probably should have, but they didn't. Might have noticed I cut those pieces out. So it's probably not going to be one that I'll go back and re-watch very often for that reason. However, I thought it was an interesting story. It just needed a bit more finessing.